big impact, big hit for anybody to be taking. And you know, like, I think you get to that kind of point, your skis stay on, you just kind of get a little lucky. It doesn't matter if your skis came off, it doesn't matter if you don't get credit for the cleanest stomp in the world, you did it. And you earned yourself a beer and you get to go down to the bottom and be proud of yourself and have the best day. And it's just that feeling, it's what drives us to go out and get it again next year. <laughs>
Fuck yeah, dude, he's got it. After skiing Nomad the first time and being stoked on it, um, been talking about it with Daryl Miller and Daryl kept pestering me. Let's go do it. Let's go do it. 700 inches of snow. It's time. I was bugging him to do it. I wanted to go feel that rush. The Nomad filled in to where I looked at it from the highway. I thought it was ski through. I thought it was totally good to go. Our first look at it, I was pretty damn intimidated. It didn't look as good as I thought it was going to look. The crux moves in the middle were just super rocky. And if Travis had wanted to back out, I would have backed out. is a do or die situation down there. You catch a rock, you catch a chicken head, you're done. turns you have no other choice but to stick your turns Sick. oh yeah dude nice exit yes thank you Travis yeah <laughs> yeah boys Besides Cora's Cool War, the Nomad was the scariest that I've been in the mountains. Cora's Cool War, it's probably a 600 foot, 700 foot Cool War down a 70 degree rock face. Chicken heads everywhere and just good Billy Goatin. Cora's is the real deal. Going to yeah, Daryl, holy shit. the move, dude. Like you skied this line a couple times. That's all commitment from there, bud. sense of like panicking I usually like can keep my cool